I am at your command, Sir Knight. Let's keep going to Underpaul Cave. We meet again. I am here to join your order, having received a divine vision from Kinnereth herself. I have been shown that to protect all Kinnereth's creations, I must take up your cause and be willing to lay down my life for you. So here I am. I have no doubt that our good works will be talked of in the eras to come. Thank you. I shall serve the order to the best of my ability. I must change into something that suits a knight. Please excuse me. I am at your...
out, sir. I am at your... I am at your command.
I am at your command.
of Sir Roderick!
This is the way Sir Roderick and I came. Follow me. Lord Vlindrel's tomb is just through here. Be careful. The wraith may be upon us at any moment. Long may your name be remembered in the annals of the realms. This is the way Sir Roderick and I came. Sir Roderick is avenged, and you have recovered the sword of the Crusader. I'll return to the Priory and give my fellow knights the good news. Farewell! Thank you. 
Lord Crusader. The prophet is here. He's just arrived. He seemed to know you were coming, told me to wait for you, and here you are. Come. He is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel. You should speak to him at once. You have stepped from the humble shadows of obscurity and into legend. No feat you have accomplished in your life compares to what you have become. You are an embodiment of Pelinul Whitestrake, the bane of Umarul the Unfeathered. The time has come for you to fulfill your destiny. Umara lies hid in the ancient fane of Garlas Malatar. You must go there. And destroy him? No! Should you face Umaru, you would suffer the same fate as Pelinal. The times change, and even the shape of the Divine itself must change with it. Where once there were eight, now one more stands with them. And they have become nine! Aye! With the apotheosis of Tiber Septum, the face of the Divine was transformed! Talos ascended, and the eight became... <laughs> nine! So, although you wear the armor of the gods, it is... incomplete. A relic of the old ways and the old gods. As a proven guardian of this realm, and a warrior the likes of which have not been seen in millennia, Talos grants you his sacred blessing. With the ancient gifts of the Eight and the new gift of the One, you are ready to face Umaril. It will allow you to follow Umaril into the spirit realm upon his death. It will allow you to destroy him, body and soul, utterly and for all time. You must first kill his living body. While beyond the power of most mortals, this is only the lesser of your two tasks. His Daedric nature allows his spirit to escape into oblivion after death. Oh, this is what Pelinal learned upon defeating Umaril the first time. But you can do what Pelinal could not. The blessings of Talos will allow you to follow Umaril's spirit when it leaves his body. This you must do, and you must not fail. You will not because the Nine fight with you. When Umaril joined with the Daedra, his spirit expanded beyond this realm. His physical form can travel between realms, but his spirit is bound. When his body is destroyed, his spirit travels back to oblivion and is reformed in the fires of creation. With the armor of the gods and the blessing of Talos, you will be able to follow him where Pelinor could not and destroy his very spirit. Once his spirit is destroyed, he will be completely obliterated, erased from all realms of existence. Garlas Malatar was the westernmost outpost of the Aelid Empire. It watched over what we call the Abyssinian Sea. Since his return, Umaril has taken Garlas Malatar as his lair. That is where you must seek him out. Umaril cannot be bested in his physical form by any normal means. 
His blows can strike down the mightiest of warriors in a single stroke. The Eight created the relics to withstand Umaril's fell power. Do not attempt to face him without this divine protection. Your knights will assemble at Garlas Malatar and await you there. Gather all those who you deem worthy. Not all who enter those halls shall return. Those who fall in service of the Nine will live on forever in the halls of their fathers. I wish you well on your quest, Crusader. We are depending on you. Yes, Lord Crusader? I find myself here, at your disposal. I want to make up for the mistakes I've made and devote myself fully to the faith. If it pleases you, I would join your order and serve the Nine at your side. What say you? Very well. I will remain here, if that's all right with you. Perhaps you will reconsider in the future. Hail, Commander.
and welcome, friend. Hail! Where will it stop? How goes it? Greetings. Seeing you just makes me feel safer. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. That... Another... You too. Come. I stand ready, Lord Crusader. Shall we launch our attack on Garlus Malatar? Of course, Commander. We will attack at your command. I stand ready, Lord Crusader. Shall we launch our attack on Garlus Malatar?
I wonder if Umaril will dare face us. Dabella and Mara will be avenged. Umaril must be hiding somewhere further in. It seems he fears to face us, the coward. Dabella and Mara.
Crusader, arise, stand and face the light. Breathe again and receive your reward. You have completed your divine task. You have restored the order. You have defeated the enemy of the nine. The order shall serve as the sword and the shield of the nine dark times to come. We owe you a debt of thanks. You have succeeded where we could not. You 
and your knights have held true to your purpose. At long last, our purgatory is at an end. We go to the glory of the moon to serve in their host in the life beyond this one. You may call upon our spirits when you need us. Simply pray at our tombs and each of us will grant you a blessing from the nine. May your sword serve the nine all the days of your life, Crusader. redeemed my soul from the evil that had ensnared me. For that, I am forever in your debt. The old bitterness that seemed so important to me in life. What is that now? How to weigh that against my very soul? The Knights of the Nine stand together once again. I would not have thought it possible. We owe you a great debt. The evil took hold of me the day that I slew Sir Caius on the Priory Steps. I baited him, knowing his temper, and then I killed him when he drew against me. I killed him in cold blood with the Holy Sword itself. I could have disarmed him or wounded him, but a cold pride had taken him. So I slew him and went to war and never returned. The evil grew upon me until I became cruel, a tyrannical ruler, a terror upon the land. In death, evil held me even tighter than in life. Thanks to you, that all is behind me. Sir Caius and I will go to Aetheria side by side, as of old. The gods are truly merciful. I took the sword down with me into evil. You have redeemed us both. The gods smile on such deeds, noble knight. Go with virtue. Bella has strengthened your wit and charm. Never allow the beauty of the world to be lost on your eyes. Lord Akatosh lends you his might. When your own strength fails you, trust in the Nine. Zenithar grants you good fortune. May you always endeavor to become the master of your craft. Kinnereth grants you the swiftness of the wild. Kinnereth grants you the swiftness of the wild. The Great Mother endures. Mara grants you her endurance. When all else fails you, look to love for the power to carry on. All that lives will die, and all that is dead will live again. R.K. grants you the will to reverse the cycle.
Zenithar grants you good fortune. May you always endeavor to become the master of your craft. Julianus blesses you with his wisdom and his guidance. Trust in your knowledge, for it is the whole of who you are. Stendar grants you the gift of legerity. Always be swift to protect and swift to forgive. Lord Crusader, how can this be? You, you're alive. It's a miracle. I heard voices in the Undercroft, and I came to investigate. You vanished in Garlis Malandar. After the battle, we searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. You had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. I saw it with my own eyes. You did not draw breath. We laid you to rest in the Undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemies thought you were dead. I can see that. I... you'll have to excuse me. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. We found Umaril's body next to yours, but it seemed that you had met the same fate as Pelinor Whitestrake. We didn't know. Tell me, Umaril, what happened? Did you succeed in pursuing him into the spirit realm as the prophet said? I never doubted you, Crusader, but I must tell the others that you're alive! Sir Knight, allow me to introduce myself. I am Brelin of Sylvanar, at your service. I come to offer myself as a knight in service of Oriel, or Akatosh, as he is known in Cyrodiil. I bring nothing but my skill with the blade, which is not inconsiderable, and my devotion to the Lord Oriel. Will you accept me, as unworthy as I am? I am honored to join the Order under your illustrious command. Excuse me while I go to the armory and attire myself as befits a Knight of the Nine. Knights of the Nine, hear me. Today we have witnessed undeniable proof of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Slain in battle with the dread Umaro. By the grace and mercy of the Nine, the Crusader lives again. How can this be, you ask? What of our foe? What has become of Umaro the Unfeathered? Umaro has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He will never rise again. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power, the Crusader has rid the world of Umaril forever! Hail the Lord Crusader! Hail, Hail, Hail the Lord Crusader! Hail Hail the Lord Crusader. 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 It's arisen! Well met, sir. I am still eager to join the Order. Have you reconsidered? Thank you. It means a great deal to me. Excuse me while I gather the equipment I need. Commander? Well met, Sir Knight. Hail, Sir Knight. My brother and I have heard that you are founding a holy order of knights, and we would like to offer you our sword. We've come all the way from Skyrim to join up. We can't claim any experience as knights, but we learn soldiering from our years in the Legion. Will you have us? You won't regret it, sir. You'll find us true-hearted and brave. I'll be back as soon as I've outfitted myself. What do you want? Farewell.
Well met, Sir Knight. Greetings, Sir Knight. It is an honor to serve under you, Crusader. Bye. Yes, Commander? Speak. We're here to serve. They say that Kinnereth granted the boots of the Crusader to someone. I can't imagine what he must have gone through to get them. Long live the Empire! Arke's blessings upon you. Thank Akatosh, the Oblivion Crisis is over. Although, with no Emperor and no heir, I wonder what will happen to the Empire. Bye. Hello.
What was it like in the temple at the end? Did Martin really call down the power of Akatosh to smite Dagon? I heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Take your time. Let's do business. That seems a fair price. That seems a fair price. That's... That's more... That seems a fair price. You... And... You drive... You got a... That's more than I'd usually pay. Thank you. BC. Oh. 